Okay, so I found out recently that there's an issue with a uh, clownfish soundboard where everything gets super choppy. And I found out that it's only for the voice changer. So, for an example, let's go, uh, what you call it, text2speech.org. And let's say, hello, sir. Call it test. Hello, sir. That's what we're gonna hear, and what the other people want to hear. Let's download it right quick. And then, using the Clownfish software, gotta open up the program. From the soundboard program. So let's add... Uh, let's add a sound. Make a control. Add our... Download. Now, whenever I play it, it's super choppy. Hello, sir. We don't want that. So, I found to fix this, you take that audio file and you open it up with Audacity. Let's add a mono track. Come on, brain. Mono track, generate noise. Make it brown and brand, or whatever it's called. 0.1 amplitude, and for whatever length that is, I think the one that I made is only like 3 seconds. So now we have our background noise. As a filler, because uh, the text-to-speech just has chop 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 chop, kind of like a square or a sawtooth. So let's go ahead and, come on brain, work for me again. Go to our downloads, and stick it into Audacity. There's our file. Give it to the link that you need it. Amplify Stonksman's voice the plus 10 decibels amplitude and export it. You can export it as a stereo or a mono. I haven't noticed any difference with it. Bruh. Now that we have it there, let's go back to our soundboard. Add our sound. Here's our test. And now here's me playing it. Hello, sir. Makes a big difference, right? So yeah, I hope that helped.